everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is going to be my first update for my No Pan Left Behind Project Pan. So if you want to see what my progress was on the five palettes that I chose last month and what palettes may be rolling in this month, well then sit tight, keep watching. We're going to jump right into it. My name is Marie and I am a beautiful mess. Here on my channel, I like to do a lot of project panning content, eyeshadow content, and really any other kind of makeup content that I can think of. So sit back, relax, and come on a magical makeup journey with me. So like I said, this is gonna be my first update for my No Pan Left Behind Project Pan that I started this year. This update is about four days early and it's just the way that my schedule is falling and other projects that I need to update. So didn't get as much progress as I wanted to. I wanted to be able to roll all five palettes out. So I was not able to do that. But this project is where I choose five different eyeshadow palettes and work on them no pan left behind style because I want to be able to touch as many of my eyeshadow palettes in my collection this year because with project panning last year and pan that palette last year, I felt like I was neglecting a lot of my eyeshadow palettes. So I introduced this project to try to be able to touch as many as I possibly could. In the intro, I chose two of the palettes and I let the Wheel of Wonder choose the other three for me. So let's start at the top of the list and work our way down and see where I landed at the end of this month. Palette number one that I chose myself was the ColourPop Troublemaker palette. That's the color story right there. I got this palette because this was everything my 90s teenage self always wanted to wear back in the day and just didn't. So when this palette came out, I decided to snatch this up and had been neglecting it horribly. So I really wanted this to be in the first rotation, mainly because it is a cool tone palette. Would have been perfect for Valentine's Day, but uh, I have other palettes that I'm thinking about that for. Definitely something that I have been in love with and working on this no pan left behind, I'm still in love with this palette. Let me show you the looks that I created with this palette this month. So this was a palette that I actually focused on really early in the month. I was able to roll this out January 15th. So I did use every single one of these eyeshadows in a look, not all at the same time. <laughs> but really happy with this color story, really happy that it's in my collection. And I can tell that this project is going to be a way for me to tell whether or not I did well on choosing the palettes that are in my collection now. So even though I love this color story, I am happy with my time with it, but it is rolling out for this month. Palette number two was my second choice for this month and definitely was a good one. And that is the ColourPop Aurora Struck palette. When this color story came out, I did not jump on it right away and it sold out almost immediately, but I was able to snag this up when they relaunched it again. And I am so happy that I did. This is actually the palette that is on my eyes today. And I was able to create six different looks with this palette. All I did was I used the columns to guide me and they ended up being really, really pretty looks. Let me show you those looks now. When I was looking at this, I definitely thought this is a great palette for winter. It's very cool toned, very snowy, very ethereal, very mythical in my mind, and definitely something that I enjoyed playing with. I have played with this palette before, but there were a lot of shadows that I did not touch in this palette, mainly because I was afraid of them. And I have come to find there is nothing to be afraid of with this palette. And I have a feeling that is going to be a common theme this year. 
that I'm going to discover eyeshadow colors that I have normally stayed away from before and I'm gonna find that I really love them and why was I scared? I have no idea. <laughs> Absolutely in love with this palette. So glad that I purchased this palette. The quality on it is amazing. The looks I got out of it were amazing. Especially my favorite look was the one that I did with this row right here. And I'll pop that up on the screen right now so you can tell which one that was. I wore that in a couple of my video updates this past month and uh, I, I'm absolutely in love with it and will definitely be doing that look again when I really need a smoky, sultry look. It made me feel very sexy, very good about myself and I will not be forgetting that look. But I was able to touch every shade in this palette. Took me a little bit longer because of all of the shades in here. Today, uh, which I'm filming on January 23rd, was the final look for this palette. So I hit the final pan in this today. Very happy with my time with it. Very happy that I chose to roll this in. And uh, I'm going to be a little bit sad to not be using it anymore but you know if I get the bug I'll definitely pull it out but that's the whole point right is to make sure you get use on everything and and that's one of the things I kind of find about myself is I get stuck in a palette for a little bit longer than I probably should and then other palettes in my collection get neglected very happy with this and I can't wait until the next time that I pull this palette out and play with it so those were the two palettes that I chose for myself because those were the ones that I wanted to work on first. And then I let the Wheel of Wonder, also known as my Tiny Decisions app, choose the other three palettes that I was working on this month. So the first palette that the Wheel of Wonder chose was the Melt Bad Side Zodiac Air Palette. And this is what the color story looks like. I had played with this palette one time before and was absolutely in love with this color story. This was my first palette that I ever got from Melts and got it, I believe, at the end of last year because it was on super sale, but I was very happy with the quality of this palette. Let me show you the look that I did with this palette. I probably should have split it into two different looks, but I will be completely honest with you, when I tried to do this as one look, I really didn't like it. So I took it off, I started again, and liked it much better when this top row was paired with the bottom row. I don't know why, that's just a personal preference, but for me, that means I wore all eight of these shades in one look and was in love with it. I can definitely see different looks with it, with only using a couple of the shades, but I was feeling inspired that day, wanted to see what that look would look like, and I did absolutely enjoy it. So this was done in one shot, and I was able to finish this up actually yesterday on January 22nd. Could have kept it in for Valentine's Day for certain, but I have, I have some other palettes that I wanna play with for Valentine's Day. Very happy that I bought this palette and it makes me want to try out other melt palettes even though I have heard that the shades can be hit or miss in some palettes but completely happy with this and uh, you know maybe if my beauty budget allows me I can pick up the other three palettes in the Bad Side Zodiac collection. Incredibly happy with this and uh, can't wait till I play with it again. The second palette that the Wheel of Wonder chose for me I didn't even touch once this month. And that was the Tarte Glamour palette. So this is what the color story looks like. Sorry if it's blinding you with all that reflectiveness. I just did not have enough time this month to get to a look in this palette. And I think that's because I had a couple bigger eyeshadow palettes in this project and I have also been working on my Project Level Up palette and also my Pan That palettes for the year. But that's okay. I am absolutely okay with this rolling over into February. We're still in the month of January so I can definitely utilize these blues in some looks and then February 
love month, Valentine's Day month is coming. So I can definitely use the pinks and the purples in this palette as well. So I do anticipate by the end of February that this will be rolling out, but uh, it's not a priority. It's not my favorite. It's, it's Tarte. You guys know how I feel about Tarte. But I still want to get my uses on it. Still bought this palette. Still want to show it some love. Because it's not the makeup's fault who it was made by. <laughs> so anticipate that this should be rolling out next month. And the last palette that the Wheel of Wonder chose for me was another Tarte palette. This is the Tarte Man Eater palette. Let me show you what this color story looks like. So when I bought this palette, I was actually really, really excited back when I was still buying Tarte because it was in the fall time and there's definitely a fall look in here that I absolutely love. But again, you guys know how I feel about Tarte. I don't buy any more Tarte makeup anymore. When I went to go back and use this palette, I was not as impressed with the eyeshadow as I was when I first bought it. Now, I don't think it's the age of it, even though this says this has a 12 month shelf life on it. What? I think it's just the Tarte formula in general. I think I was blinded by the pretty fall colors when I first got this and didn't realize how much this fades on my eyes even with using an eyeshadow primer. So I will be happy to use my Tarte makeup, but I'll be extremely happy once it's gone. Here are the looks that I created with this palette this past month. And this palette took me until January 21st to hit every shade in here, but I did it. I hit every shade in this palette. Even though all of those pinks and purples for Valentine's Day would have been fantastic. Again, there's other palettes that I wanna play with for Valentine's Day. So happy with my time with it, but glad that I'm gonna be rolling it out. I'll probably, you know, play with it again in the fall time, but it's time for you to go back and hibernate a bit. Let other palettes have the spotlight. So out of the five palettes that I had in this project, I was able to hit every pan of eyeshadow in four of them. I don't think that's very bad. I think that's actually really good. I think that's a good job. Pat myself on the back. I think I did pretty okay for my first month of no pan left behind. Now there are two eyeshadow palettes that I wanna roll in for the month of February because I wanna wear them for Valentine's Day and I don't want to let chance not pull them in. But let's pull out the Wheel of Wonder and see what other two eyeshadow palettes it's gonna choose for me for the month of February. So here is the Wheel of Wonder with all 85 of my eyeshadow palettes in it. I don't remember if I blacked out my Pan That palettes for this year and I also have an eyeshadow palette in another project. So if we happen to get them, I'll just let you know that they are in another project. But I've picked two, the Wheel of Wonder gets to pick two, so let's see what palettes it's gonna pick for me. ColourPop Clear the Air, okay. Don't remember if that's the orangey one or the pinky one, but uh, I'll be sure to pull that out in just a minute. We can work on that this month. All right, and the second palette that the Wheel of Wonder is going to choose. Sea Color <laughs> Nightfall. This was a palette that I used in my Project Level Up last year. So happy to see it. Again, that's actually very apropos because of Love Month, because of, of us going into February. Okay, let me pull those palettes plus the other two that I wanted to roll in and I'll show them to you. The first one that the Wheel of Wonder chose was the ColourPop Clear the Air palette. And it is the corally one that I was thinking of. I have three of these palettes. One of them is my Pan That palette for the year. The other one is pinky, and this one is kind of peachy. But that's okay, because I'm gonna have a lot of pinks. 
and uh, really only half the month to wear them. Plus you can wear any color you want anytime. So this might be a nice reprieve from all the pinks. So this is palette number one that the Wheel of Wonder chose for us. The ColourPop Clear the Air palette. Palette number two that the Wheel of Wonder chose was the Sea Color Nightfall palette. Sea Color was a company that did dupe palettes. So this was a dupe for a Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. And I actually used this as my level four palette last year for my project level up. So I definitely have some pans in here. This was a great palette for the fall time, which is when I had it in, but I did notice when I was using it that there are pinks and there are purples and there are reds in here. So I can use this in a completely different way and use this for love month, Valentine's Day month, also known as February. So I am really excited to use this palette in a no pan left behind style and see how many Valentine's Day e looks that I can come up with with this palette. So good choice, Wheel of Wonder, not a palette that I would have thought of. All right, now let me show you the two palettes that I chose for Love Month. So the first palette that I chose, this is the J Cat Dia and Noche Tri Element 15 Pigment Palette. And I did get this one last year for Valentine's Day, played with it and absolutely fell in love with this. And look at those pinks, look at those purples. This is the perfect month to be playing with this eyeshadow palette. I created one look out of this, I believe last year, maybe two. And I remember that I absolutely loved it. So I cannot wait to play with this palette again for love month. And I can't wait to share the looks that I create with you guys. Next update. And last but not least, the second palette that I chose for this project is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. How can you go into love month and February and not pull out the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette? This palette was meant for Valentine's Day. All of the pinks, all of the purples, all of the shimmers. I love the ones that shift like blue-ish in this palette. So definitely doable for the end of January as well. I am so excited to be playing with this palette for Love Month. Even though the Wheel of Wonder didn't pick it, I certainly did. So I cannot wait to see the looks that I create with this palette and to show you those looks next update. So those are my five palettes that are going to be in for this round of No Pan Left Behind. Put in the comments down below, what is your favorite Valentine's Day palette? Is it one that I have that I'm sleeping on and should be pulling out this month as well? But that's everything that I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. You know I always love when you do. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. It lets YouTube know that you like my content and that other people with the same interests as you will like my content too. Thanks again, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.